he is a model student. If you know a teacher had a whole 30 kids of him, it would be awesome. A great guy. You talk about a guy that comes in the weight room, gets dressed, comes in, and goes right to work. He's a great example to the entire school and to our community of this is what you can do when you just keep working. Those teachers are talking about Garrett Sasson, a senior who was involved with powerlifting, track and field, and band, all while excelling in the classroom, becoming a national merit finalist. Doing all these activities at once has taught me time management and so in doing so many activities it's kind of helped me figure out how to manage my time to make sure I get like the homework done, the projects done and all that comes together. He is always on top of his academic work regardless of what other extracurricular activities he might be in. Garrett looked at going to the University of Houston or Rice before choosing to go to Texas A&M. I just like the, the culture up there, the big family feel to it, even though it's such a large university. And uh, I liked all the, all the sports, all the football games that they have there. It just seemed really cool. And they have very good uh, engineering programs and facilities and all that. When I was asking him where he was going to go to school, he said he's going to go to A&M. And I asked him if he was able to get any scholarships. And he's like, oh, yeah, I, I was able to get some scholarships very nonchalantly. You know, and after prying, I was able to figure out, you know, he's going to end up getting a full ride, which is awesome, but you have to pry those kind of things out of him because he's not just going to, uh, you know, brag about himself. He may not toot his own horn when it comes to his accomplishments, but he's been a section leader for the school band the past two years. I started learning how to play the saxophone in sixth grade, and I've been in, in this band program up through seven years. It's a cool instrument to play. It sounds cool, and it's, it's fun to keep getting better at it and playing more interesting and difficult things. Garrett's a great student. I mean, I've, I've known Garrett since he was in sixth grade, and he's just always been, he's been a leader. He's always prepared on everything he does. He always helps the other kids out. Lead him by example all the way. He doesn't say much to, to the kids in here, but at the same time, the kids notice him. I'm a bit more of an introverted person, so really I like to lead by example. Uh, the stuff that I do, I let that speak for itself. I have seen him work with some of our students who have special needs. And not treat them any differently and you know help them out. I think that speaks a lot to his character. That character has impressed his fellow students, teachers, and coaches who expect big things for Garrett in the future. Garrett in a few years is probably going to be a uh, part of a think tank leading a group of the brightest minds that are out there. He's a pretty sharp kid. Uh, they're eight.